Hey there, Tiffany. Are you all set to roll out the red carpet for your majesty? It's been ages, hasn't it? Guess what? The queen has officially landed. Ugh, my back is literally killing me after that one hell of a flight. Time to get on your knees and pay homage to me, the mighty ruler. <laughs> Wait, what? Kathleen? What's going on? Are you planning to come over to my place? Of course, you stupid mule. Is this how you dare to address your esteemed mother-in-law? It's your duty to welcome me with open arms and lay out the red carpet. Not to spew mindless questions like this. Um, all right, I understand, but I'm curious. Why are you suddenly planning to visit my house? It's been so many years since you've done that. It's almost like you've vanished completely during all this time. Hey, what's with the attitude? Can't I swing by your place to visit my granddaughter, Lily, and my son, Eden? Who do you think you are to stop me from seeing my own family? You want me to take you to court for keeping us apart? No time to waste. I'm heading over to your spot, and I better be treated like royalty when I get there. But you haven't bothered to call or text me in the past three years to ask about Lily or the rest of the family. So... Why the sudden interest in visiting my house now? Did something unexpected happen? What's your problem, you Marin? I'm Eden's mother, which means I can come and go as I please. You're nothing but a lowly maid, so don't you dare think you have any say in what I can or cannot do. Listen up, because I spell it out for you one more time. Hoping it'll penetrate the thick skull of yours, I'm coming to your house, and I'm not just talking about a measly two- or three-day visit. Oh no, far from it. I'm talking about a long-term stay, as in permanently. So you better start getting used to that idea, got it? Wait, hold on a second. Are you seriously saying that? You're planning to stay with my family at my house permanently? Honestly? That completely caught me off guard. Oh, you got it. Once I step foot in your house and settle in, I better be treated like royalty. No exceptions. You know what that entails? It means I demand the biggest room in the house. Three square meals delivered right to my room. Afternoon snacks at 3 p.m. like clockwork. In-house pad treatments and much more. Oh, Another thing, make sure you get the best quality mattress or else I'll blame you for my back pain, got it? But I haven't said that you can live with us. Eden hasn't told me anything, so I'm pretty sure he hasn't given his permission either. Why on earth do I even need your permission? My son already agreed to it. The queen gets what the queen wants. No ifs, ands, or buts. So quit lazing around and start prepping for my grand entrance. Your Majesty is making her triumphant return to claim her throne. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about, Kathleen? Do you honestly believe you can waltz in out of nowhere and demand such extravagant treatment? And let me ask you this. Do you have any plans to contribute anything? Or are you simply planning to sit back and expect everyone to enable your lazy lifestyle? Are you kidding me right now? Are you seriously asking your majesty to contribute? And let's get one thing straight. Don't even think about using my real name. From this moment on, address me as your highness. Got it? After all, I am the queen, the matriarch of this household. So it's only fitting that you refer to me as your highness. Now, Get it right when you speak to me. You disrespectful swine. By now, you should realize that we're not on the same social level. Kathleen, you're completely delusional. You are not my highness. And if you continue behaving like this, I won't even acknowledge you as my mother-in-law. Oh, what did you just say? You want to challenge me, huh? Well... I'll make sure my son kicks both you and your worthless daughter out of this house. 
Let me enlighten your tiny brain. I am the mother of your husband, the supreme ruler of this household, and whatever I say goes. If I want you to do something, you better do it without a single question. Got it? Hold on a second. Who exactly crowned you as the owner of this household? Or did you just take it upon yourself to make the declaration? Wow. Are you genuinely that dumb? Is your brain made out of jelly or something? You don't even have the slightest clue who you're talking to, do you? You're really pushing your queen's buttons, and I won't put up with this disrespectful and rude behavior any longer. Furthermore, let me make it crystal clear. I demand my own personal assistants, chauffeurs, private chefs, and any other personal services you can possibly imagine to cater to my every whim. I intend to spend my retirement years in absolute luxury and bliss, without a single burden weighing me down. Retirement? But wait a minute, you never actually worked a day in your life. From what I recall, you solely relied on your husband's paycheck and never bothered to step out and earn a living yourself. And after he passed away, you sold the house and vanished without a trace for three long years. Eden and everyone else made countless attempts to reach out to you, but you were nowhere to be found. It's as if you completely disappeared from our lives. And now, behold, mortals, I've made my grand return. Surprise! Remember how down in the dumps I was after I said goodbye to my husband's pathetic existence? It hit me hard, and I was a total mess, like completely lost my way. That's why I decided to take this soul-searching journey, you know? I gotta find myself again and rediscover that inner peace. But check it out, I've had a major breakthrough. Starting now, it's all about me, myself, and I. I'm putting my own needs and desires front and center, leaving everyone else in the dust. Yup, I'm a whole new version of myself, guys. Time to live life on my own terms. Okay, I totally understand that you're all about living for yourself now, but that doesn't give you the right to treat your own family like servants, expecting them to pamper you like a little baby. You've got to realize that life doesn't work on that way. You can't just expect kindness and favors without giving anything in return. It doesn't come for free, you know. Stop your meddling, insignificant one while your dear mother-in-law graces you with her presence. Get ready to witness the grand return of the magnificent and unmatched queen. Yours truly, here to claim my rightful throne. Once I set food in your humble abode, I expect everyone to treat me like royalty. No exceptions, got it? So, without wasting any more time, I'll be moving in and I won't tolerate any feeble attempts to deny my majestic presence. Now, it's time to get down to business. I want every nook and cranny of this house meticulously cleaned to meet my impeccably high standards. Sparkling cleanliness is the name of the game. Oh, and by the way, your majesty despises waiting. So, you better hustle your lazy self and complete the task with lightning speed. Time is ticking, you sluggish fool! <coughs> Tiffany, listen up! I'm already at the train station, and it's about time you come here and fetch your royal highness. I've got a bunch of stuff to lug around, and I have no clue how to navigate my way from this blasted train station. I can't believe you had the audacity to make your dear old mother-in-law take a train instead of personally shuffering me from the airport. Seriously? I'm the freaking queen, damn it! I deserve way better treatment than this. Get your act together and show some respect. Oh, wait a minute, you're actually at the train station? Please tell me you're being serious about wanting to come and live with my family. Oh, what a delightful display of ignorance. You think I have all this extra time to play around and joke with you? No way. I'm dead serious about this. So, 
Get yourself over here and pick me up right now. No time to waste. You'd better do as Eden says, or else he'll hate you and dump you like yesterday's trash. But Eden told me that he never said it was okay to let you move in. He says, but he already told you, you couldn't move in with us. This is my house as well as his, and I won't agree to living with you. Why not? Why does it matter so much whether one more person is living in your house or not? You married my son. You should be the one taking care of me. Honestly, I have no idea why Eden would want to marry a woman like you. He's so honest and gentle. But you're so rude and arrogant. Oh, and guess what? I totally forgot to mention it earlier, but I've already shipped all my stuff to your place. They should have arrived by now. Surprise! Wait, hold on a second. Why would you do that even without letting me know beforehand? I can't believe you went ahead and did it. Oh, how amusing. Have you conveniently forgotten who I am? I am the almighty queen and I do as I please, whenever I please. As for you, my dear servant, your sole purpose is to satisfy my every whim and desire. So, keep that in mind, alright? Here's another important tidbit for you to remember. Do not lay a finger on my boxes or attempt to open them without my explicit consent. They contain my personal belongings, and they must remain unharmed until my arrival. Clear? Let me make this perfectly clear. If you dare to touch or tamper with my precious possessions, I won't hesitate to call the authorities and accuse you of thievery. Consider yourself warned. Listen, Kathleen. I believe there's a major misunderstanding going on in here. Just to clarify, I never agreed to let you move into my house in the first place. Remember that? Hold on a second. Who said I need your permission to move in, huh? Let me remind you of something. I am the Royal Highness, the most important person in this family, and I call the shots around here. So, why on earth would I need to ask for your permission to move in? Stop spouting nonsense and understand your place as an inferior servant. If you manage to behave yourself, I might consider granting you the privilege of staying at my house and taking care of all demanding chores on my behalf. Consider it a generous opportunity granted by me. Excuse me, but let's get one thing straight. It's my house, not yours. So. Who do you think you are to grant or deny my permission to see? Nuh uh. No sassy comebacks for your highness. Looks like my kid's been pampering you too much, huh? But don't fret. The queen is stepping in to bring some discipline back to this place. Gotta make sure you remember your role and act more like the little servant you are. Alrighty. No more dilly dallying. Tell Eden to come grab his royal highness. I ain't got time to wait, okay? Hey, Tiffany! What's the deal? Can't believe nobody bothered to show up and lend me a hand. Do you think I'm some kind of joke or what? You're aware that I've been stuck here at this dumb train station for a freaking eternity? Did you purposely ignore all my calls, huh? Quit dragging your sorry excuse for an ass and haul it over here. ASAP! Oh, and just a little friendly reminder. I don't want just you or Eden to grace me with your presence. I want both of you losers to come and give me a damn royal welcome. Got it? Oh, Kathleen, do you ever know when to give up? I've said it over and over again. You're not invited to move in and stay with me and my family. Plain and simple. I even spoke to Eden about it, and he's firmly against the idea of you living with us. Just think about it for a moment. Would anyone in their right mind allow someone without basic manners to come and live with them? Obviously not. Have I made myself clear enough, Kathleen? What did you just blurt out, you insolent woman? Remember, you're just a humble servant, so you don't get a say in any of this. Capiche? So why don't you zip it and let the queen handle her business, huh? Mama knows best. 
Only I know how to tackle all the chaos in this house and get things back on track. I bet you haven't even bothered lifting a finger for the housework and dump it all on my poor son, am I right? Do you even bother cooking for him? Or do you just let him fend for himself with fast food or frozen meals? And do you even remember to get the warm water ready for his shower or make his bed before he hits the hay? What on earth are you going on about? Of course, I still share the everyday task with him. But let's be real here. He's a grown man, not a little child anymore. I'm pretty confident he can handle himself just fine. Enough with the constant excuses. Just own up to it already. You're only spewing this stuff because you don't want to lift a finger for my son and you're too darn lazy to think about anyone else but yourself. Now, where the heck is my son? What have you done with him? Did you stash him away in the basement to keep him quiet? I need to have a chat with Eden. He already gave me the green light to move in with you and he can't just bail on me like this. Oh, come on. Really? Eden is at work and I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to be bothered by your ridiculousness. Work? Is work more important than his own mother's existence? I'm sitting here like a fool at the train station and all my son cares about is his job? Unbelievable! Fine, if my son is too busy, then you can get off your lazy ass and come pick me up instead. I swear, I'm gonna give you a good smack once I arrive. There's no excuse for mistreating your own mother-in-law and make her wait for so long. It's just plain rude and awful. Take it from your highness, you mooch. Consider it's a life lesson for a never-ending freeloader like yourself. I'm sorry, but I really don't think I need any life lessons from you. So, if you'll excuse me, I have more important matters to attend to. Feel free to wait at the train station for as long as you please, even until midnight if that's what you're into. But I can assure you that nobody will come to your rescue. I've heard rumors about some sketchy thieves lurking around the station, specifically targeting women to rob their phones and cash. If I were in your shoes, I wouldn't want to hang around there for too long. Just a friendly word of advice. Wait, thieves? Are you serious? Please don't dish me here, Tiffany. I'm genuinely freaked out. Can you please come and fetch me, pretty please? I mean, come on. I'm your mother-in-law. Show a little sympathy. Tiffany, are you there? Respond to your dear old mom-in-law right away. I'm dead serious here. No joke. Tiffany, guess what? Your Highness has made it! And I'm standing right at your doorstep. Quit lazing around and unlock the darn door, you lazy slug. Can you believe it? I waited for hours at the train station and you couldn't even bother to come and pick me up. Do you even realize I had to grab a taxi all the way to your place, huh? What an entitled and bratty daughter-in-law you are! Wait, hold on! You're claiming that you're at my front door? Are you absolutely certain about that? Wow, Tiffany, are you seriously that brain dead? Obviously, I'm sure. I'm already at your dump of a house, so quit wasting time and open the door for your oh-so-important highness. Oh, and make sure you slave away in the kitchen to cook something decent for me. But don't even think about serving me anything less than fancy restaurant-level cuisine, got it? My goodness, you can't even begin to comprehend how starving I am right now. I've traveled an insanely long distance to get to your pathetic abode. So count yourself lucky that your majesty is still intact. I swear, if something were happen to me, I'd sue your sorry behind for every penny I can get. Hmm, listen. I'm not sure what you're going on about, but I think there's a mix-up here. I don't see you anywhere around, and I certainly didn't receive any boxes you claim to have sent to my place, so maybe you should double-check things and make sure you've got the right address. What? Are you seriously defying my orders now? I'm telling you, open the door this instant. Oh, I see right through your little game. You and Eden are currying in there. 
trying to be as silent as mice, like a bunch of pathetic cowards. You're so terrified of me that you won't even flick the lights on. No worries though. I've just shattered the windows, and guess what? I'm inside the living room now. Gotta admit, it's a pretty nice house you've got here. Whoa, just look at all this fancy furniture. I bet every single piece is from some snobby luxury brand, right? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have an absolute blast in this gorgeous house of yours. Hold on a second. Wait, did you just say you broke the window? Did you not listen to what I just said? There's nobody outside my house, all right? So how do you expect me to open the door for you? Listen up. You're at the wrong house. Get out of there, right now. Huh? What are you saying? Are you seriously telling me that I'm not at your house? Is this some messed up prank or something? Hold on. Now that I've just taken a closer look, the people in the photos on the wall, they're not your family. Does this mean I've actually ended up in the wrong house? Well, duh. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell you all along. But for some reason, you just couldn't accept what I was saying. But how on earth could I mix up your house with someone else's? You're still living in the same place as before you married my son, aren't you? Wait, what? No way! I actually moved out of that old house a while ago. It's probably been sold to someone else by now. So it's definitely not my house anymore. H how could it be? Oh no, what am I supposed to do now? Oh my god, I can't even hear an alarm going off. Should I be concerned about that? Honestly, I have no idea. You barge into a complete stranger's house. So maybe that alarm is for intruders or something. Oh, no, no, no. This is not good at all. Now I can hear a siren that sounds just like a police car. Are they coming to arrest me? What do I do now, Tiffany? Please. Be a dear and help your old mother-in-law out, will you? I had absolutely no clue that this house wasn't yours anymore. You've got to give me a hand to get out of this ticket situation. Honestly, I'm not sure how to assist you at the moment. You got yourself into this mess, so it's up to you to figure out how to get out of it. The best course of action right now might be to wait for the police to arrive and arrest you, because it's bound to happen sooner or later. Breaking into someone else's house without permission is a crime, you know? What? The police? Does that mean I'm going to jail? No. No way. That can't be happening to me. I definitely don't deserve to end up behind bars. And you, Tiffany, this is all your fault. If you had just bothered to pick me up at the train station, none of this would have gone down. That's why you need to take responsibility for this whole mess. You've got to help me out, Tiffany. Tiffany? Are you there? I'm still hiding inside the house. Scared to death that if I step outside, the police will nab me. Tiffany, please. Can you come over here and save me? Darling, I'm seriously terrified. I really don't want to get arrested. When the police arrived at my previous residence, they discovered a broken window. But Kathleen had already fled the scene of the crime. She attempted to hide and reach out to me for help, but I made the decision to report her to the police. They were able to locate her based on the location from which she sent her text messages and apprehended her shortly thereafter. Later on, it was revealed that following the death of her husband, Kathleen sold her house and went on a trip abroad to meet an individual she had encountered online, whom she referred to as her secret lover. Unfortunately, upon arriving in the foreign country, she realized it was a scam. Upon returning to her home country, Kathleen recklessly spent the substantial amount of money she had inherited within just three years, leading to her sudden interest in moving in with me and my husband. Due to the severity of the case, Kathleen was released from jail not long after. She was then compelled to reside in a homeless shelter where she receives meals and basic necessities. My only hope is that Kathleen can learn from this experience and undergo personal growth. 
Given the attitude she exhibited during our exchanges, I shudder to think of the potential consequences if I had allowed her to live in my home.